Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 25th. Uh, this week, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But, uh, Taurus, let's see what is going on for you here. A bunch of cards want to pop out. So <laughs> let's see. All right, Taurus, what is going on for you? Yeah, two aces. Love it. So that's nice. And let's see what else we have here for you. All right. Yeah, you start off with the Ace of Hearts. That's crazy. Ace of Diamonds on the bottom as well. Uh, so that's nice. Ace of Hearts, Four of Hearts. Some of you could be hoping for a very deep commitment. I do feel like there are romantic changes for you just in general here, Taurus. Number one, um, you know, well, th there's a couple things going on for you in the chart here. I have the chart up over here. Uh, so uh, Uranus entering into your sign, um, you know, on a very simple level, uh, this is not accurate astrology, by the way, but, you know, just according to Chris's crappy astrology, as I like to say, um, Uranus in your sign could make you want more freedom. And, you know, of course, and but it could make you want more freedom in relationships and things like that as well. You could be more independent uh, for, you know, the next like seven years, eight years, however long it's going to be in there, basically. Um, or you could also want to be in relationships that have more freedom. It's like maybe you want to be with somebody. It's like maybe when you're together, you want to be together. But maybe also you will want your own alone time or you will want time where you're not together. So a lot of you could be dealing with that or you could be trying to get into a relationship like that. For others, this could just simply represent and a move Taurus in your I mean Uranus in your sign could lead to a move like I said could want more freedom or you could be wanting to travel more as well so uh, pretty pretty basic stuff next you have the three hearts I just call this an indicator card to me it just represents you know to me it just indicates things moving forward in the right direction so I don't attach a meaning to it but um, again it can just be say things are going in the right direction and you do have the seven hearts as well um, so again these two cards together actually could mean a lack of love so you could be feeling a lack of love if you're in a relationship or you could be wanting more romance in a relationship. And um, But uh, the good news is, is this is a very good card. It says that if you are in a relationship where you want more romance, there's probably very deep roots, basically. It's probably very, um, you know, it could be a very developed relationship. So just simply communicating your needs is the key here, and that will probably change things very quickly. Uh, for those of you not in a relationship, again, feeling a lack of love, needing to create it. But overall, I would say love looks very good here for you, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved. I feel like there could be financial changes for you here, Taurus. I feel like you're learning. I feel like you've been on a, in a process of learning for a very long time financially. And, you know, again, I feel like you're kind of coming out the other side. So if you've had difficulties for a long time financially, I feel like there could be a lot of very positive changes coming in for you, especially when we get to, like, the end of the year for you. Uh, you know, when, and then, uh, like at the end of the year, then when Jupiter enters into Capricorn, um, you know, there could be other, there could be more changes there is what I'm trying to say. There could be, you know, that could really be illuminating for you financially. And there could be like a lot better ideas. Or if you're like starting a business, you could have some sort of sudden realization more towards the end of the year, like on what you need to do or what changes you need to make. And, you know, again, or all of a sudden you could just be very successful. So I feel like there could be a lot of surprising changes. For others, this is just a card of existing problems being resolved. It's like my Phoenix rising from the ashes card. So a lot of you could just be having like a rebirth moment at this time. And again, that could be very good for you as well. Next, you have the Five of Clubs, needing to socialize. Um, this came up for pretty much everybody so far that I've read for. I'm going like backwards this week. So um, I do feel like it could be a very social week. There could be a need if you want love. Yeah, I would say if you want love, there could be a need for you to socialize and get out there. The Joker is just a card of being busy. So a lot of you could be being busy, just busy and you know that's come up for a few signs as well that it would be it, you know that's kind of like a it seems to be a busy week with people having just a lot to do and kind of focusing on a lot of different projects and work or whatever for others this could be renovation this is a card of like renovating something so some of you could literally be renovating a house or you could be renovating yourself here and you could be doing the you could be making changes to yourself that will kind of have a major impact these could be like personal development type changes but they would be very good for you at this time uh, next you have the king of clubs yeah i feel like there could be love coming in for some of you in the form of a fire sign uh, it could be any sign really there's all signs here but for some of you you could be in love with a fire sign or you could have a fire sign in your life already this is a very good card like i said like i said it looks like romance is improving that's what I, the point that i want to get across to you taurus uh, even if you're single i feel like you haven't had a romantic life for a long time 
For others, this could be your head in the clouds and needing to focus on what you truly want. This could be you not knowing what you want in life. And this is like your passions or a desire that you have in your life right here, this jack of hearts. So it says, make sure to focus on what your passions are. Don't focus on like everything else. King of Clubs, like I said, is a card of focusing on too many external things, not focusing on your heart's, you know, desire as far as love, money, business, whatever is concerned. So make sure to focus. And finally, you have the four clubs in the tennis spades card of the Mercury retrograde. Yeah, pretty much everybody has had a message about needing to stay focused and, you know, needing to follow the typical retrograde rules, you know, needing to double check things, needing to make sure you don't buy anything expensive, no purchasing electronics, you know, all that other good stuff. I would just avoid it. Ten of spades is a card of a change transformation, kind of like that eight of spades. So a lot of you could be going through a change um, or a transformation this week as well. Definitely. Looks like a very transformative week, but um, yeah, Taurus, it looks like a pretty straightforward week for you, I'd say. Nothing really all that spectacular, but uh, you know, definitely doesn't look like a very challenging week either. So yeah, it looks good. So thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.